Hey, guess what we're working on? Look how flat that hose is. Hobo Freight coolant vacuum. Um, slow process because, yes, we still have coolant in it. We did this last night, and we actually got another half gallon or so of coolant in it. And got the rear heaters to work, but the front heater was still not working. Makes no freaking sense to me. Um, we only got it down to 16 inches of mercury last night. And we're almost at 20 inches now. We've been holding it a little longer. I don't know if you can see the mist, and there's a little drip. Yeah, you can see the drip. We had almost a steady stream running earlier, and there's a mist coming off that, just because we have fluid in it. What you expect that? And uh, no, the bucket wasn't empty when we started. <laughs> the bucket was pretty much half full. I, realistically, I doubt we've gotten, oh God, not even a half of a pint of liquid out and you know most of you know between that hose there that's flattened out and that lower hose down there that's flat I mean there's a good half gallon at least just in those flattened out hoses so we're just giving her a little longer I mean we can feel when the air pockets move the needle will jump up at least five inches of mercury and, uh, you know, just jumping. And I can feel it. The way I got my hand, I can feel it bounce through. So we're hoping that this will do it. I mean, hell, you know, new water pump, new thermostat, uh, new temp sensor, flush the frickin' system out. This better do it. That's all I got to say. Hey, we're now to 21 inches of mercury. When I started video and we were at 19 or so, um, with the sy system drained out, it doesn't take long. To, we got it up to, I think, 26 inches when it was empty. It really doesn't take long, like two minutes. So it's, it's generally faster than doing an AC system, but, um, you know, different setup, different stuff. These hoses made to collapse where AC hoses are not, so all you're doing is getting a vacuum. And yeah, it's supposed to be hot today. It's like almost 11.30 and I think it's pushing 80 degrees. Poor Ron's standing in the sun, I'm standing in the shade. He's got a little bit of sweat there on his brow. I think he's adding to the bucket. He's probably adding as much <laughs> as, as the vacuum is. And we're pushing 22 inches now. We've got to figure out when we want to stop, but I keep feeling air come through, so I really, really want to get as much out as we can. And uh, if this is going to do it, I'm going to take that fancy foamer deal for the end of the pressure washer, and I'm going to foam a bunch of this. But one thing I know, that underneath there, you do not want to get that wet in there. We had issues on one a long time ago when we changed the water pump and hosed things off. There's some sensors in there. Right? They're the anti-knock sensors or something. And unless they change stuff between that one and when this one was built, they're not sealed very well from the top. And if you get water in there, they tend to get screwed up. So that's what I know. We had issues after that with sensors, and they finally dried out on their own. We didn't have to replace them, but... So, I'll be careful with that. Mainly get down there, because the AC compressor and clutch is full of antifreeze, which doesn't help that a bit. Get that cleaned out. And most of the rest of the stuff down under here is pretty clean, so... And what we spilled here, and we're... Oh, going toward 22 and a half inches now. Hopefully this does it. I'll get you some more later. Hope you're all having a good Sunday. Field trip. I got out of the house. Off the farm. That used to be a nice farm. Now it's a nursery. And that used to be a big dairy farm. Now it's a road proper that has it. 
And let's see. Spud outfit that Ron works for owns that and Hi. Becky's waving. They'll be digging these here before too. Actually they are. Diggers out there. Clear out there. Looks like they got two or three different varieties in there. They own that and then they farm this part of this on the other side. Yeah, and that wheat there was theirs too. Pretty much rotate wheat and spuds right here. So yeah, I just thought I'd say we're out and about. 92 freaking degrees is what the car says. I think the house one said a little warmer than that. And what I get, uh, I think there was 10 different freaking weather alerts on my phone today. Supposed to be high wind warnings till like Monday night. High temps till Monday night. High fire danger till Monday night. Those fires in Oregon are not going to do well with that. And, uh, you know, there's already enough fires going in the state. Montana, California. Montana's burning. California's burning. Idaho's Oregon's got burning. some going. I'm sure Washington has some going. And, hey, a, a shout out to one of my viewers, Jeff Gross. He was uh, fighting fire by his place on the other side of Mount Hood oh. last week. And I've only seen one comment from him since. Please be careful, Jeff. He said they got it turned the other way. Well, you know, I kind of I kind of know where he's at, and that don't mean it stayed the other way. Oh, yeah, here. That's what happens when people drink and drive. They put up memorials they everywhere. They both died. Yeah, they both died in the car. That's been first part of summer. They had people there all hours and there's, of the night. And there's people stopping by there almost all the time. So, and we're going to a friend's house in town. Made some homemade hooch. He, it says he made him some hooch, so we're gonna go see sample his hooch. He was bottling it today. And let's see, number two got on an aerial plane this morning. She got on one that had a layover, a three hour layover in Denver on her way to Georgia. Guess what? When she comes back, she's got a three hour layover in Denver. And then she comes back next Sunday, Monday, she starts a new job, not for what she's going to school for, but a friend of ours is a winemaker at a local winery and his cohort uh, tore his bicep muscle and is out for a while and crush season obviously is here the grapes are coming in and they need someone to work seven days a week guess who gets to do that on top of keeping up with her three classes for for college Brooke she's going to be busy and tired so hopefully number two can keep up on everything maybe we'll get some rent money out of her maybe I'll get something out of her for having to help work on her car <laughs> Hell to the yeah. Maybe she'll send us away for our anniversary. Maybe she'll work for me for a few days and I can get away. That would so, be nice. Montana, and, uh, here we come. Oh, maybe not that exciting. Number one went home early this morning because bad traffic. Uh, let's see, it should be about a 40, 45 minute trip for her the way it normally goes. About an hour and a half after she left, she tried calling me and I was working on number two's car. She was attempting to tell me um, that... Let's stay there. Yeah, people never pay attention here. There's more accidents at that intersection. Yes. She uh, was at, attempting to tell me something I couldn't hear it while she said that she was almost home. Fifteen minutes later, she texted me when she did get home. So she was a good hour and a half to get home because of all the lovely holiday traffic. And uh, her and her fiancé got a move a truck tonight and they got to go out in that so i don't know well i think they got to get it done tomorrow like tomorrow morning they're going to try to go early before the traffic hits he can't even move equipment out of his yard when Thank it's just bad becky, becky's bruce. busy talking we love bruce. yep shout out to bruce today she's, she's got awesome. she's got to throw this stuff out her uh some of you that don't know he Got us a dash part for the 936 Versatile, and he just messaged me the other day and said that uh, either Tuesday or Wednesday, the inside door panel for it should be being shipped to me. Bruce is awesome. He's done some horse trading here and there, and he's always trading for tractor parts and stuff here and there. So uh, he tells me I don't owe him nothing, but yeah, I do too. He says, yeah, I might need something sometimes. So, yeah, you know, that's good too. Anyway, I'm going to call this one the end of the video for the day. Uh, we did work on number two's car again. Put the vacuum on it without draining the system. We did that yesterday, and we got another half a gallon of fluid in it. 
did it again this morning after still having issues with it yesterday and took her down actually got a really good vacuum on it and uh you can probably see that in the first part of this video we got it down there pretty good we got another gallon in it but the damn thing's still doing it but when it cools off it cools off very fast it's like the thermostat doesn't want to open until it's way too hot so if anybody has any ideas please so, let us know and i i've had I've been on multiple other channels and talked with guys that should be in the know and you know, everything they're saying to try, we've already done, you know, and I mean, I don't know. We don't have any heat in the front heater yet, but the rear heater is heating. So there's either a blockage or an air bubble still in it. So anyway, I just thought I'd get to that part out and course as always thank you for watching be safe be safe you know like and subscribe if you haven't yet that's that's always a good thing and hopefully y'all got some crops to harvest and you can get something out of it you know i know a bunch of people don't have much to harvest so all they're doing is working it under we're hoping to uh finish hopefully this week i gotta check fields again but hopefully things are matured out enough so thanks for watching everybody.